Well, here comes Margaret Rose. She's a 58-foot cruiser to narrowboat built in 2009. The shell was done by Elite Narrowboats and Fabrications and she was fitted out very nicely by Stillwater Narrowboats. She's in lovely condition. You can see the paintwork there. In the last year and a half, the name panels, the gunnels, the roof and the top straights have been repainted. The engine bay, the gas locker, front and rear decks, stern and taffrail have been repainted. So. So she's been really well maintained. That world uh, at the stern deck, seven feet eight inches long. It's a great outside space, really good social area. Portholes at the back of the boat, bus style windows in the front of the boat. Nice side hatch. That's got a glazed panel thing to keep the weather out. Mushroom caps on the roof are all sparkly clean. They've just been polished. And the world deck, that's four feet long. The gas bottles are in that forward locker. There are two six kilo bottles in there with it's manual changeover. <clears throat> Navigate this gap so I don't go in with the camera. Nice glazed cratch board there. And there's storage under both sides of the seats. Both sides of the well deck rather under these seats. The water tank's underneath here. It's 580 litres stainless steel. There was a new tap in the galley in July 2020. And here we go. She's fitted out an American light oak with oak trim. Immaculately clean this boat, inside and out, I should hasten to add. A couple of captain's style armchairs with a footstool. The saloon is 12 feet long, so good space. A couple of cupboards on the port side here. That's illuminated. And a cupboard under here. The storage under both of these steps. And there's a stove. It's a Morso Squirrel. That was brand new along with the flu in December 2020. There's also a, a stainless steel chimney extension. Over here is a Samsung 23 inch television with a Sony home theatre system. That's all those black boxes are to do with that. There's also a Kirsten satellite dish with a Distron Freeview receiver. Head height on the boat, 6 foot 6. And all the lighting is LED throughout. That's the view back down through the saloon. Really cosy boat this is. Pullman style dinette is next. There's storage under these seats. This converts into a double bed. And after that is the galley. Nice side hatch that we saw from the outside. The worktops in here are granite. Plenty of storage. A very big cupboard in here that actually has power and plumbing for a washing machine. It, there used to be one in there, but they didn't use it. Would rather have it for storage, so that's perfectly doable. Another cupboard up here. You won't fit a washing machine in that one. Hot water, by the way, is heated by the engine, the Wabasto central heating, or there is an immersion heater on board. And under the worktops, this side is the fridge. That's a 12 volt shoreline with an ice box and a bank of four drawers under the stainless steel sink. Top one's configured for cutlery and then the others are as you see. Here's one of these carousel type cupboards. Very good use of space. I had one of those put in at home actually after doing these videos. I get so excited about them. The cooker itself is a Stoves 500 DIT four burner gas hob oven and grill all very clean. The galley I didn't mention, six foot four inches long. And there's the view down through it. So spinning round into the bathroom. It's a huge shower cubicle. There's even a shelf all along on the left of the screen there to put bits and pieces. Ceramic sink. There's two cupboards underneath. That one and the one to the left of it, just here. And the loo itself is a Thetford electric flush cassette. There is a spare cassette on board as well for that. Let's walk through bathroom, nice arrangement. The bathroom itself was six feet long and into the bedroom. This is 12 feet long, this room, so plenty of space. The bed itself measures six foot four inches long by four feet wide couple of good sized drawers underneath. Reading lights and cupboards over the head end. And here 
a very good sized double wardrobe with a shelf above and some shelves below. This is quite clever. That cupboard is freestanding, so you can move it, and the door behind it there gives you access into this cupboard here. Very good storage cupboard for taller things. I don't know, brooms, mops, hoovers. And there's the inverter. That's a Sterling Pro Combi, uh, Combi 2.1 kilowatt inverter stroke charger with a Victron digital battery monitor. <laughs> My tongue's all twisting today. Storage under these steps. And a bit of an airing cupboard in here because the hot water tank's under here. And those things you see there, that's the tonneau and the skirt for the rear deck. So you can completely enclose this off to protect it from the weather. The engine's in here, an Isuzu 42. It's ever so clean in here. Only 626 hours on that since new. The hour meter was refitted in 2014, but that's the correct hours. The batteries are in there, 450 hour uh, amp hour deep cycled batteries. They were brand new in August 2020 one starter battery there's a galvanic isolator on board and there's the view from the helm which is centrally heated we've seen a few radiators as we go back through that's a Wabasso thermotop c diesel fired central heating system the radiators in the bedroom galley and bathroom were brand new in july 2020 and the system is just about to be serviced She was last blacked in June 2020, so that will be due in the next year, probably. And the engine was serviced, a full service, including the gearbox oil in July, just a year ago, July 2020. Really lovely boat. She comes with all the navigation equipment, that's all on board. And there we go. Margaret Rose, there's Stowhill Workshop. Need anything doing, give Rob a call. There she is then for further photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure on the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.